Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna talk about Alpine Linux which is a very lightweight Linux distribution. So are you ready? Let's get started. So if I can summarize Alpine Linux I can summarize it in three words small, simple and secure. Okay. So this is by default all the features, all the important features of Alpine Linux. Of course, you can take a look at Alpine Linux in its official website, which is alpinelinux.org. Okay. So from here, you can get started with this distribution. And distribution, as I told you, is very small. That's why it's used almost in uh, any virtualization, uh, actually, platform like uh, Docker or LXC. So here I'm really using Alpine and LXC. If you don't know how to use LXC, you can take a look at my previous video. I'll show you how to install it. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So for example, let me here sh show you the size of this distribution image. So I will use here the command LXC image list. So as you can see here in this table, the size of this uh, image, which is I guess the latest Alpine 3.12, it's almost 2.40 megabytes. So it's very small compared to other distribution, okay? So, in order to interact with it, as I told you, I will use here LXC, LXC exec, Alpine 01 minus minus, and it uses the ash as shell by default. So here we go, now we are inside our container, which is Alpine. 3.12 so I'm gonna show you some basic commands here that will help you to interact with Alpine Linux okay first of all you should know that actually Alpine Linux is using BusyBox which is a bunch of scripts and commands in Linux so in order to prove that if we see for example or what is inside the directory bin you will notice that almost all the commands actually are linked to busybox okay so all the commands here you can see that exist in this bin directory reference busybox so alpine linux is almost based on busybox okay let me clear that also, let's see a couple of config file. So for example, if you want to see the configuration of your network, you can see the file that resides in etc network interfaces. Okay. So here I have only one interface ETH0 and it uses DHCP. Okay. Also, if you want to, look, to take a look at your DNS configuration, you can take a look at etcresolve.conf. I have only one server here which has this IP address. Of course, you can change it if you want, for example, to replace it with the Google DNS server. Okay. And also one of the most important files is uh, the files or the location of the repositories from which APK downloads its packages. So they are located in this particular file. So actually APK stands for Alpine Package Keeper. So it's package manager for Alpine. So it has nothing to do with APK in Android world. So just keep in mind that. So here you can see two URL 
from which Alpine Linux downloads its packages. So as you can see here, the version of Alpine I'm using here is 3.12. So there are actually two forks, main and community. And let's dive dive actually into seeing the packages that exists in uh, our distribution so for that we use the command apk info and here it will list all the packages that installed by default in alpine linux okay one other thing you can update the packages list using the command apk uh, update so it will fetch the previous URL and it will update the packages. As you can see here, we have almost 12,000 distinct packages available. Okay. If you want to upgrade your packages, simple as APK upgrade. Okay. So that's always good to do after a fresh installation of Alpine Linux. And the most important things, if you want to install a package, so let's for example, I don't know, let's see, we want to install for example Nginx, which is a very famous uh, web server. You can just type apk add then the name of the package which is in this case nginx so here it will download the nginx web server and install it in our system so as you can see here it has downloaded uh, nginx and install it okay and of course if you want to delete a package it's simple as apk del and the package name if i want to delete for example nginx i have to write its name but we are not going to do that but instead we're gonna talk about uh, the services how to start service how to stop it and so on so here we have actually downloaded the web server nginx but we didn't actually start it so in order to start it we use the open rc which is the default init system in Alpine Linux. So Alpine Linux uses uh, actually OpenRC instead of systemd. So if you want to launch a service at runtime or at the startup of your system, you execute command rc dash update, then add service name. So in this case, I will add nginx and then the default run level so the default run level in alpine linux is actually called default so with this command you will start the service nginx whenever your system started so you can see here server nginx has been added to the run level default and of course if you want to start or stop service all you have to execute at runtime is rc update then the name of your service so in my case it's nginx and you can even write stop if you want to stop it for example or start <coughs> okay but i guess here i have to switch you have to first type stop then the service name nginx i guess oh yes yeah, sorry i actually it's not rc update but rc dash service then the service name which is in this case nginx then start it okay so now the service nginx has been started of course you can stop it just to replace the start with stop command okay so it's pretty easy pretty straightforward and also pretty simple in order to run services in alpine linux and of course you have the usual command in order to start 
uh, in order to reboot your system you just type reboot if you want to halt it just type halt or power down if you want to power off your system okay so that was just a brief introduction to this very lightweight and simple secure and small uh, operating system called Alpine Linux as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye